Hey Dugboots, it's Shifty and welcome to the channel or if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome to my channel. I make Sims 4 content and that being on the lines of let's plays, challenges, cast videos, and CC hauls. Today though, I wanted to do something a little fun, well fun for me, I hope you guys will have fun too. I just wanted to sit down and play The Sims 4. Sometimes I get so wrapped up in creating Let's Plays and sharing you guys current households and things like that, that I just don't ever enjoy The Sims. So today we're going to be playing The Sims 4 and I don't know if this is a current household. I don't know if this is an in the moment household. You know, we have both, you know, in the moment. Maybe you're just vibing with the family for the time being, but then the next day you have a new family. So I don't know what these, what these guys are, but I'm just having fun and I'm really excited to introduce the characters to you all. So the first sim you all are looking at is Kiana, and Kiana is the mother of my main sim, Josephine. Josephine's currently upstairs getting ready. Now the house that we are in is Josephine's house. She shared this home with her fiance, but there's more to tell you all. But before we get into that, we also live here with Josephine's dog, Daisy. So Josephine and her fiance decided to call off their engagement. They just realized after high school and a few years of college, they were just two completely different people. People. And so Josephine and him decided to call things off and there was a little heated argument towards the end where he started blaming her for things and the reason the relationship failed and then she bit right back at him and blamed him for things. Oops, I forgot to employ him so ignore this. But as you all can see, we have a awkward relationship. They drive each other crazy but they also drive each other quote crazy <laughs> um they have a broken off engagement josephine's sentiments about connor are hurt furious and festering grudge and connor's sentiments about josephine are just furious but i think that josephine's more hurt because she loved connor more and even though she accepted the fact that they were completely different people at this point in their life she still wanted to you know marry him and hopefully try to fix things between them but josephine was quiet and she was really scared to tell her mom that the engagement was called off and that they were not going to be getting married. And she just thought her mom would be super disappointed in her. Because Miss Kiana herself is also divorced. And our mom doesn't live with us. She usually does like a routine sleepover. And she came into Brindleton Bay to stay with her daughter. And she was like, where's Connor? And that's kind of when Josephine told her exactly what had happened. And her mom is like, honey, I can't believe you didn't tell me. I would support you through anything and I'm here for you. I don't want you to think that you're alone in this. And I've been through a divorce, even though you guys didn't get divorced. Oh, look at her taking her plate. She's trying to make this, you know, when you're not feeling great, if you guys have a parent who does this, or if you're a parent who does this and you take care of your child or vice versa, your mom takes care of you or your dad takes care of you care of you just to like lighten the load <laughs> that's kind of what I saw going on there but you know she told her daughter I'm here for you I support you and if you need anything I'm, I'm gonna do it for you uh, Josephine as I said is still kind of going through the motions she's happy and she's confident now because her mom has been staying with her and it's been uplifting her mood a little bit but she's been wearing her ex's shirts to bed and I think that we need to stop that, but it's just, you know, she just hasn't broken that yet. And as you all can see, our closet's kind of empty and it's because our ex took all his stuff out. So I have to fill it back up. So it looks a little scarce right now, but I am going to have her change into her everyday outfit. I think we could get a little cute today. I wanted to go walking with my mom later. So maybe we'll do that. But I also want her to possibly work on some candles today if we can, because Josephine is trying to open up a candle making business. She wants to do freelance work. Always been her passion to just, you know, be her own boss. But Kiana, I think, is going to just hang around, maybe watch some TV while her daughter works. She wants to go on a walk and possibly go out to dinner later tonight, so we can probably do that later. But yeah, she is, let's light the essential oils as well. Maybe some soothing sage, <sighs> peaceful. Let's do the, the soothing sage. I think that'll help our daughter kind of focus. So actually I'm gonna have mom work out. Let's have mom do the Plumba dance video. 
<laughs> you invite your mom over and she's just doing her workout in the living room? Oh, she can't. Maybe I could just have her use the exercise bike. Because let me tell y'all something about Miss Kiana. Miss Kiana, she is a feisty, spicy little fox. <laughs> this woman is so about what she wants. She knows. She's just like that sassy mom. I don't know. I feel like we all at least have one or no one. <laughs> so I'll show you guys her traits as well. So our mom is materialistic, she's self-assured, <laughs> she's family oriented, and she would be happy to have children. Miss Kiana ain't having any kids anytime soon, but yeah, those are her traits just to give you guys an idea. And I think I showed you guys Josephine's, but I'll tell you. So she's a perfectionist, she's a bookworm, and she's loyal, and she would be happy to have children. That was one thing that her and Connor were both on board about. They wanted to have kids, but once things started to go downhill, they kind of stopped. But I am going to go ahead and order a few of these. I am new. To making candles <laughs> so if any of y'all have any advice on how to make candles let me know because i don't know what i'm doing i know that i have to purchase the stuff and then i think i have to recycle some things but if you guys have any suggestions on how to recycle things more effectively or how to get the stuff to recycle let me know because it's been a struggle for me i've been trying to get her to do it and i'm like i know i can do it through trash so i have her rummage for things and everything like that and then we go and we break it down in the trash compactor and then I make candles with it. But Josephine has been having a difficult time, but with her mom being here, it has definitely lightened the load tremendously. So she's thankful to have her mom staying with her. But I'm just gonna come out here and pick this poop up because it's bothering me. And then we're gonna head out to the backyard and try to, oh, we didn't get anything from that, did we? Oh, is it on the floor? No, I didn't get anything. The trash can is empty. Boo, let me throw this away. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get some. Let's go back inside and try that again, Joes. But yeah, her mom is just super cool. I'm glad that her mom has been staying with her and she's even been laying in bed with her and just giving her company. You know, sometimes they'll come down here and watch a movie together, but her mom has just been here, I think for estimate, probably about a week or so at this point. And her mom is definitely a city girl. This is not something that she is into usually being on the countryside near the bay. There's nothing for her to do, but she wants to support her daughter. So that's why she's staying. Um, let's go ahead and come out here and try to recycle from our inventory. Ooh, we have a ton of stuff. Let's recycle this. I'll recycle this. <laughs> All this expensive stuff. Let's just do it because she has enough money to like buy furniture if she needs to. But all this extra stuff that I don't need that was in the house when I bought it, I'm going to go ahead and recycle it. And hopefully we'll get a ton of stuff from it. So let's come over and recycle these items. Sorry there was a little film or a tent on the screen. It was my reshade and I had no idea it was on, guys. So I'm sorry if it looked weird. But I have my recycled pieces. So she's going to come up here and start making some candles. Now, this is her office space. It used to be her office space with Connor. But she's kind of made it her own. And I really like the vibes here with just the greens, the random colors, and just pinks and just pops of fun. It definitely fits her. This was a house that she picked out. And even though she shared it with her fiance, he knew how much she loved it. So he just let her keep the house. He was like, we don't have to sell it. If you want to stay here, you're more than welcome to stay here. But I'm going to move and do my own thing. And so she stayed. It was one of her dream homes, you know, and being right here by the beach, it's just perfect for her. But we're just over here dipping some candles. As I said, this is my first time doing this, so I hope it comes out right. Oh, she burned her finger. Poor thing. It's okay. But guys, isn't hot wax like the worst? I mean, there's. I'm sure there's like really bad burns. My husband was a firefighter, so trust me, I know. But this like a wax burn, oh my gosh, it just makes you want to slap somebody. <laughs> Any kind of burn really just makes you want to slap someone, <laughs> but you know, she's okay. I think this candle is just about done. This is so interesting. I got the shelf over here behind her so we can maybe display our candles. She's like, oh my gosh, it worked. It worked. I'm going to tell my mom later and just show her all my candles that I've been making, but I'm just going to have her keep going and we're going to display them, like I said, on the shelf. And then I think we'll try to sell them online. Oh my gosh. They're going to light if I put them in here. Oh, wait, let's actually extinguish this candle because <laughs> I want to be able to sell them. But look at that. That's so cute. 
Joe's has called her mom in here to check out her candles. And she's like, Mom, look at the candles I made. And she's going to check them out. These are actually really, really nice, sweetie. You did a great job. I can't believe you made candles. I don't have to go to, what is it called? White Barn? Is that what it's called? <laughs> You guys know in Bath & Body Works, she's like, wow, you did a great job. This is actually really nice. You should totally list these on Plopsy. I think you'll make some money from them. And Josephine's like, you think people actually buy my candles, mom? She's like, yeah, come sell these bad boys because they're cute. Um, but she is asking her about that dinner reservation that they had. So I think that we're going to have Josephine get ready to go to the bathroom and, you know, we're going to head out to the restaurant. We're going to just freshen up a little bit. Our mom has to freshen up too. Is she sweaty? She is. She's a little stinky girl. Um, so let's have her come in here and take a shower. Hopefully she'll just hop in with her daughter right here. I don't think she's going to shoo her out or anything. I mean, it's her daughter. Oh, well, she freaked out. She goes, honey, I didn't know you was in here. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. Let me hurry up and wash my hands and I'll be on my way. Then you can shower. But I thought she would just get in there. I'm going to actually have her <laughs> lay down and take a nap while her mom takes a quick shower. She's like, come on, honey, get out. I need, I need some privacy. Hey, buddy, got a minute to help me with some recyclables? I heard you have a recycler. And if you let me use it, I'll give you... Oh! Yes! Hang on, actually. You'll give me the bits and pieces I get from it for free? Oh, that actually sounds wonderful. I'm gonna come down here. Is this Bess? Is that who this is? Oh, Audra. Audra, okay, yeah, yeah. Come on in here. You can use it. Give me all the bits and pieces because, you know, we're just helping each other out, right? I need to be able to make my candles. You wanna recycle. This is actually a really fair trade. <laughs> I didn't know they did this. This is cool. Help yourself. She's like, I saw it from my backyard. I looked over and I saw you had one. <laughs> yeah, help yourself. Anything, anything you need, anything. <laughs> but I will have her come over here and just nap on the couch. Like I said, her mom, I think, should be getting in the shower. She still did not get in the shower. Girl, come on, get in the shower. We are killing time. It's already 7 p.m. The restaurant's gonna be closing soon. It's the weekday, probably close at nine or 10. She needs to hurry up. <laughs> Josephine is super hungry and really, really tired. And she just wants to have some fun. She's been cooped up in the house and it's been really rainy the past few days. So she's just been in here laying with her mom, watching movies on the couch. <laughs> you know, eating popcorn and everything like that. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Maybe we should just skip the restaurant, order pizza and eat popcorn. I actually kind of like that better because I'm a homebody. So, I'm sorry. I know if some of you all were really excited about her traveling out to the restaurant and everything, but I just think staying inside, making some popcorn with your mom, ordering some pizza, that's just a vibe, you know? So let's get her a popcorn maker. I want to get a fun color. Let's get this. Is this teal or sky blue? That's not teal. Sky blue. Let's just call it sky blue. <laughs> we're going to watch a movie instead. So I am going to pop some popcorn and then I'm going to call and order a pizza. I think our mom likes any kind of pizza. She's not picky by any means. So yeah, let's get hmm, sweet corn pizza, kebab pizza, Canadian bacon, pepperoni, cheese, and tequila, tequila. I don't, I don't know if I said that right. I think though, I'm going to get the kebab pizza. Let's get a kebab pizza, make our popcorn. Ooh, we, I wish we had a little mini bar because I would make some mixed drinks right now and everything. I should have gave her a mini bar. Why didn't I do that? It's okay. We'll do it another time. Um, popcorn and pizza is fine though. Hey, are you done using my recyclable? Can I actually <laughs> get the bits and pieces unless she already gave them to me? I guess she already did. Well, I know you, I said you could come in here, but please, um, if you're done, you can leave. But I do think that we should friendly introduce ourselves. Since we're new here, her and her hus husband, oh my gosh, her and her ex-fiance had just moved here not too long ago. So she's still meeting the neighborhood, you know, getting to know people. But ooh, we got some bad first impressions here. Okay, let's check that out. I need to make some friends so we don't need to be too hateful. So it says that Josephine's sentiments about Audrey, her first impression is nature maniac. <laughs> That's not terrible. That is not terrible at all. And then Audra is married to Hope. Oh my gosh, Hope is so pretty. They are so cute. I don't know what Audra's first impression of 
than Josephine was. But Josephine, she's a nature freak. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, she's like, I just came over here to recycle my trash. I, I'm so thankful you let me use your recycle world. And she's like, yeah, I'm upstairs. I've been making candles. And so it really helps me that, you know, you came over here and did that. Oh, our pizza's here. Take the pizza. Yeah, I wish I could. Can you tip the delivery person? Oh, did you just give it to the dog? Oh, she's greeting Daisy. Daisy's so friendly. She won't bite, I swear. All right, we got our pizza. Oh, it fell on the floor. Let me just pick that up. <laughs> so I don't think I can tip the pizza delivery person, but our pizza is here. I'm actually gonna ask our neighbor just to go away, just because I want this to be a her and her mom thing, and I don't want our neighbor to grab any of the pizza. So I'm gonna tell her just to leave. Hopefully the pizza person leaves as well. She's like, bye, thanks again for coming over. And we are gonna call everyone to the meal. I'm glad that we decided to stay in because it is super late. Oh, they're eating pizza at the table. That's lame. We should have ate pizza on the couch. <laughs> but I respect them for trying to keep the sofa clean and everything. Maybe if I actually, can I pull the popcorn maker in the living room? Let me try to do that so that way they'll 100% eat the popcorn on the couch. It would be really sucky if I had them make this popcorn and then she didn't even eat it in here. Hang on a second. Bummer, that didn't work at all. I was trying to fit it on the table, but it, it wouldn't fit. I'm gonna have Josephine clean up the plates this time. Her mom cleaned up the plates for breakfast this morning, so we're gonna handle it, mom, it's okay. And let's grab our popcorn and go sit in the living room together. Grab a serving and then come sit here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with her mom. Grab a serving and come sit here. Do not sit at this table. Excuse me, ma'am. No. <laughs> okay, let's do it like this. Um, put this in your inventory and you ma'am, I think she's gonna grab the popcorn. Hopefully she does. Yes, perfect. Okay, this is actually gonna work. Oh no, her mom has to pee. <laughs> Let me actually just cheat that a little bit. And they'll probably go to bed after this, but yeah, we're gonna sit down, eat our popcorn, watch a movie. What movie should we watch? <laughs> Clumsy Sisters. Let's watch the Clumsy Sisters with their mom. That sounds like such a mom-daughter movie, you know, just a, a funny, funny film. Um, let's go ahead and eat our bowl of popcorn. Mom, sit down. <laughs> Okay, so we're sitting on the couch finally and watching the movie with our popcorn. This is such a vibe and I love it. I love that it's like a mother-daughter date. You know, her husband, I keep calling him her husband. I'm so sorry. Her ex-fiance has left her. He's moved out. She's been by herself and her mom has just been here keeping her company. This has kind of been our night for like the past few weeks, but I love it. You know, I love just spending time with her and I feel like, you know, maybe Josephine is a homebody. Maybe that's why she moved out here even though her mom loves the city life loves going out every night that's just not josephine's speed so it makes sense that she would rather you know be at home watching a movie with her mom than going out maybe she was like mom can we please just stay home can we please <laughs> i don't want to go out or anything her mom's like this movie sucks <laughs> who's that at our door that better not be no kind of vampire uh-uh you know what time it is it's 11 o'clock why are you knocking on my door let's see are you in some kind of society the vampire council Girl, I can read you like a sign. You gotta go away. Let me actually go ahead and click my door and do no trespassing for vampires. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. Cause I like the solicitors, I like the neighbors and I like the friends, so we'll keep them. But that vampire had no business being here. So we just finished the movie and Josephine is asking her mom if she loved it. And before I started recording guys, Josephine's mom actually just threw her hands out. So I don't think she liked it at all. <laughs> Josephine has just finished her bowl of popcorn. And I think that it's just about time for them to go to bed. It's 1130. I know we're calling it an early night. We're gonna go to sleep though, because they're both tired. She's like, that movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna tell her daughter that she picked out the worst movie, but she did. Um, she's gonna go ahead and head upstairs. Let's actually brush our teeth. Let's do a whole nighttime routine, right? We're gonna brush our teeth. Let me just turn on this light here in this room. And then after we're done brushing our teeth, I'm gonna get her dressed for bed too. And I'm actually gonna have her daughter just brush her teeth down here because it'll make it a lot easier, you know, space-wise and everything. Oh, we have a double sink upstairs. 
perfect time to brush our teeth with our mom. Oh my gosh. Reminds me of the songs I sing to my son when we're getting ready. Do any of y'all watch Miss Rachel? Because I need to know. <laughs> my son loves Miss Rachel and we watch her every now and then. But the brush the teeth song, because he likes it so much, I sing it to him when he brushes his teeth. <laughs> but we're going to head upstairs and go ahead and like I said, prepare for bed. Mom's already done brushing her teeth. Josephine's going to come in here and brush hers. Let's have mom get into her bedtime outfit and she's just gonna go ahead and crawl in the bed and then Josephine oh you're tense why are you tense looming anxiety that anxious feeling looms over Josephine as she discovers something new about herself a fear that wasn't there before ready to overcome Josephine into paral paralysis <laughs> at any moment oh man Josephine it's okay Let's go ahead and have Josephine get into her pajamas as well. Still wearing that really tired old shirt of her ex-fiance. We're going to have to get Josephine some, some new bedtime clothes. But let's go ahead and have her climb on into bed and get some sleep. So guys, this morning we had a little bit of a surprise. Jose woke up and she was having some stomach pains and having a lot of bad back pains. And not to be TMI, but our girl was constipated. She could not go to the bathroom. Josephine told her mom and her mom was like, honey, I think we need to go to the doctor. Because Josephine's mom had the same issues when she was pregnant with her daughter constipation back pains all those things and so she was just curious you know she didn't want her daughter to find out at home if she was pregnant she just wanted to take her to the doctor just to make sure you know her her thoughts were right and guys josephine is pregnant now some of you are going to ask well she was just with her ex and they're broken up what's going to happen with that i don't know let me know what you guys think do you guys think that josephine should tell her ex i mean she should right she should tell him that they're going to be having a baby together even though they're not together they're going to be having a baby and co-parenting should be fine right as long as he doesn't have anything else going on i mean they did just recently break up so there's no way he's moved on that quickly but guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think what should we do i mean i'm happy for her because she's always wanted a baby it says a child is on the way feeling close from being around her mom obviously but then she also has learned about high fertility josephine would like to have children and it's glad to have learned that she is highly fertile so it must have just been something that they did you know right before things started to get intense between her and her ex-fiance and they just had no idea that she was this fertile but yeah guys our girl Josephine is gonna be a mom. Isn't this exciting? I feel like I'm just gonna have all these pregnant sums running around right around the time the baby update comes out. <laughs> but yeah, she's gonna be a mommy. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. And look, she's even telling Daisy, she's like, Daisy, you're gonna be a big sister, honey. You're gonna be a big sister. Oh, I can't wait to see the baby playing with Daisy too. But this is such exciting news. But guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. You probably will more than likely see this family on the channel again, just because I had so much fun playing with them. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it as well. Comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling about them and what I should do in regards with telling her ex-fiance about this pregnancy. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said, if you did like this video, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tech boat. I love you guys and I will talk to you all next time. Bye everyone.